Welcome back to Talking Safety Lesson 2, Finding Hazards. In this lesson, we will help students identify health and safety hazards at work sites typical to young workers. For this lesson, you'll need a computer with a projector and Talking Safety PowerPoint slides 20 through 28, a flip chart and colored markers for each group of three to four students, and copies of student handouts two through five. Class, can anyone define the term job hazard? Something that's harmful. Almost. A job hazard is anything at work that can hurt you, either physically or mentally. Some hazards are obvious, but others aren't. In order to be prepared to be safe on the job, you need to be able to identify these four types of hazards. Safety hazards, chemical hazards, biological hazards, and other health hazards. I want you to think about places you've worked or places you'd like to work. Got it? What are some possible job hazards? Uh, hot surfaces. What type of hazard is that? Um, safety hazard. Ask students for more examples of workplace hazards and have them identify which type of hazard it is. Make sure that they understand that the hazard is the cause and the injury or illness is the effect. Pass out student handout two. Have the students look at the workplace shown on the handout and circle as many safety and health hazards as they can. Review their findings with the class. Next, divide the students into groups of three or four, pass out a sheet of flip chart paper and a set of colored markers to each group. Give each group a specific type of workplace, like a fast food restaurant, grocery store or gas station, and instruct them to draw a floor plan for the workplace. The floor plan should show all the rooms, work areas, furniture, equipment, work processes, doors, and windows. Then, tell the students to color each hazard by type. Red for safety hazards, green for chemical, orange for biological, and blue for other health hazards. Tell your students they can highlight hazards they consider especially serious or severe by coloring them more prominently or marking them with a symbol. So our work site was a fast food restaurant. Uh, some of our safety hazards, we have uh, knives, a hot grill, a hot grease, slippery floor. When they've finished, have each group select someone to present their workplace to the class and discuss their presentation. Before class is dismissed, I want you to keep in mind these main points. All workplaces have hazards. A job hazard is anything at work that can hurt you, either physically or mentally. Some job hazards are more obvious than others. This means that some hazards can be easily seen, like a sharp blade, while others can't, such as stress. Some hazards can hurt you now, for example, hot grease, while others, such as noise, may cause health problems in the future. To be safe on the job, you must be able to identify different types of hazards, which include safety, chemical, biological, and other health hazards. It's important to remember that the cause of a work injury is the hazard. The effect of the hazard is the injury itself. For example, a meat slicer is the cause and a cut is the effect. You have a right to know about chemicals and other hazardous substances used in your workplace. When using a new chemical, it's important to read labels and check the SDS, safety data sheet, for the product. An SDS tells you what's in a chemical product, how it can harm you, and how to protect yourself. For a step-by-step -step guide of how to read an SDS, as well as an example of an actual SDS, look at student handout two in the link below. This concludes lesson two of six in the Talking Safety training video series. In this lesson, we identified the four types of hazards that could be present at a workplace where young workers are typically employed. Students also learned how to identify a variety of health and safety hazards through the Find the Hazards and Hazard Mapping activities. We hope you found this training informative. Thanks for watching. You can get more information on young workers' safety and health topics from any of these resources.